Wildcats are with us. McKay Cannon, Joel Bullenboy represent the student body for Weber State. Randy Ray, the head coach, will start off this session with a statement on the game, and then we'll go to questions for all three gentlemen on the dais. Randy, please. Well, first of all, I couldn't, uh, I can't be more proud of our team um, for what they've accomplished this year and how they represented themselves on the court, off the court. These guys, we got really good players, but uh, these guys and everybody on our team is much, they're much better people than they are players. And, and that's probably what I'm most proud of, the character they display and, and how they handle themselves and who they are. Um, we battled. I mean, we battled. We fought. That's what we've done all year. Uh, I felt like uh, we got to the point where we were right there in the game. Second half, I believe it was a seven-point game. We had two or three. We got a couple stops, and then we had two or three shots that just they were in, and they came out. And, uh, you know, had a couple of those gone down, I think we could have grabbed the momentum a little bit and, and really made it, uh, made it exciting coming down the stretch. But overall, couldn't be more proud of these guys and their effort and uh, – how they represent Weber State. Questions for any of the gentlemen, start right here. Coach, you talked yesterday about Xavier's physicality. Were Reynolds and, and Farr in the post what you expected they would be? Yeah, no, they're big, strong boys. I mean, they're, they're strong. They're just big and strong. I th our guys battled them, um, uh, but they are, yeah. They were kind of what I thought they would be. Uh, they may be a little bigger in person than I thought they were on film, but but they're very good players, and what they do is it's it's hard to double team them, and it's hard to give help because they shoot the ball so well in the perimeter. And we tried to go down there a few times and help out our bigs, but uh, they kind of made us pay a couple times when we did that. But they're a physical team. Um, but I, I didn't feel like they, you know, out physical this out of our game. I mean, I didn't think we backed away from that at all. I just think they got they had a couple bigger, stronger bodies, but. They got, they got a great team. They got a great team. They got all the ingredients to be special, and that's why they are special. And, and uh, but part of it is they are physical, tough team. On the aisle. Randy, what was it about their defense, especially in that first half, that was making it so tough for Jeremy and your other shooters to get good looks? Jeremy, they, they just, they weren't going to let Jeremy breathe. I mean, uh, they were everywhere he went. If his defender was a little late. They jumped somebody else out at him. They weren't going to let Jeremy beat him. And, uh, and they did a great job on him. And you got to tip your hat to him. And we had a hard time getting Jeremy free. Um, so then we decided to throw the ball in the post a little bit more. And I thought Joel did a real nice job uh, in the post. But uh, they pushed us out a little bit with their pressure, I thought, in the first seven to eight minutes. Um, we were catching the ball way too far from where we normally catch the ball. But then we started to get it under control. I thought in the second half, uh, we played much better offense and we played deeper. Uh, we played a little bit uh, offense with more force. You know, we ended up shooting pretty good percentage, percentage in the second half. But uh, they're a good defensive team. They just are. And they got a lot of bodies they can keep throwing at you, too. Right here in the front row. Um, Joel, as, as you've uh, uh, played your last game at Weber State, what, what emotions go through your head as that buzzer sounds and you know you, you wear that jersey for the last time? Just that it's not a good feeling to lose, but looking back, it's been a, a great career. I've been on uh, many great teams, and I've just embraced all of it. I've enjoyed everything, and to be able to be in this position, to be at the NCAA tournament twice out of my four years, that's really good, and I just... I don't really have anything negative to say. Coach, uh, along those lines, could you try to summarize maybe what Joel's meant to your program over the last four years? Yeah, as I told him in the locker room, I don't have the words. I mean, I just don't for what he's meant to our program and meant to our university. And uh, I just, I remember the first day he walked into our campus and he's 6'8", 200 pounds. And, uh, He's kind of a kind of a kid. Four years later, he's walking out of here. He's a man, and he's ready to be. Uh, he's going to be successful. Whatever he ends up doing, he's going to be very, very successful because he's a great person. He's a hard worker. He's got tremendous character. And uh, you know, one thing we hope when we bring kids into our program, uh, and I think that should be one of our main missions, is when they leave our program, they need to be ready to be successful in whatever they do. 
They need to be successful in life. They need to be good parents, good husbands, and we hope that we can help them become that. Well, this is one guy I'll never worry about, and I know what he's going to end up being. And uh, so he's meant a tremendous amount to our program in so many ways and to our university and the city of Ogden. Uh, he's, he's first class, and he's a poster child for what we want in our program. Uh, McKay, it's, uh, your first experience here. Obviously, uh, nobody wants to, to see the end of the loss, but, I mean, uh, how has this ex experience been for you for your first time? I mean, it's been great just to be with my teammates and just I've been trying to soak in everything during this year. Um, I love my teammates and I've really enjoyed the experience being out here. Um, it's just been fun. I just wish it would have gone the other way, obviously, but that's what happens. Anything? Yes, back to the first row. Uh, Coach, I mean, what does an experience like this do for the guys like McKay and the guys who haven't been here yet for the future? Obviously, still a lot of young kids on this team that are going to be on the be there for a while. It's going to be it's great experience. It really is, and uh, I think when Joel and Jeremy, Rashad, Kendall, um, Ryan, or uh, was Ryan with us? No, he wasn't. They went two years ago. I think it really helped them for this. I thought they played pretty calm, and I think the. The more you experience it, the better chance you have to be successful the next time you come back. And and so, and we've got everybody back except for obviously Joel. Uh, he's a big piece, but uh, I just told these guys, remember what this feels like because we're going to get back here and we're going to find a way to win a game. And that's what we're going to end up doing. I I really believe that. So it's a great experience. You got to go through it one time, and then the next time you come back, you just feel more comfortable. And I think guys will perform better once they do come back with a year under their belt. So McKay did a great job tonight. Tough little guy, man. He's tough. And uh, you know, I told these kids, I said, they've done something that I don't think a lot of teams in the country can say they've done this year, and that's win three championships. We won the Florida Gulf Coast Tournament. We won the regular season Big Sky. We won the Big Sky Tournament. I don't know how many teams in the country can say that. So they've had one hell of a year. Take the night out of it. They've had one hell of a season. And they've earned every bit of it. Anything else for the Wildcats? All right, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you.